In honor of the lives lost at Pearl Harbor, another ceremony took place in the Inland Empire while a group of local veterans headed to Hawaii to pay their respects. NBC4's Vicki Vargas has that story. A solemn look back in the city of Norco. Home to what was a naval hospital, the first to treat the wounded who were attacked at Pearl Harbor. They came today to honor the story of how and why this country entered World War II, a war that took 2,400 American lives in a single day on December 7th, 1941. The loss of those lives showed that the greatest generation was ready for the call. At the same time, their courage ignited a spark that rallied Americans. Billy Hall was just 15 years old when he enlisted. He likes to joke the recruiter lied about his age. He didn't. That recruiter charge and said, well, if your dad, if your dad will not give me any trouble, I'll fix it up so you get in. Well, that put me into the Marine Corps then. Every year we honor the heroes who lost their lives. On Today, he is 2,500 miles away from his Orange County home, joining hundreds of other veterans who came back to the island, the target of a surprise attack by the Japanese. And they stopped the bus just like we are here right now and informed us that uh, the Japanese had bombed Pearl Harbor and we were to all report back to our base. World War II, men of legend. Eight decades later, Dwight Hansen had a dream to bring World War II vets back to Pearl Harbor, which he did thanks to donations from two local foundations. The group of eight left John Wayne Airport early Saturday morning with a hero-worthy send-off. You you Following the ceremony, a trip to the USS Arizona, a snapshot in time so the next generation does not forget. Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.